Today we're at the Frederick Grinnell Training Center in Cranston, Rhode Island with Devin O'Leary to demonstrate how to set up the Tyco model DV5A deluge valve. Devin, thanks for joining us today. It's a pleasure being here. Before we get started, could you talk a little bit about the design and benefits of the DV5A deluge valve? I'd be happy to. The DV5A, like the original DV5, features just one moving part, which is the diaphragm. So the maintenance and operation are easy. As our next generation deluge valve, it has a higher pressure rating of 300 PSI and a lower pressure drop through the valve. Also, the new design doesn't require a check valve when used in a pre-action system. And the DV5A features a small footprint thanks to a compact trim package that makes it easier to install and maintain. So what are the steps for setting the DV5A? Well, the DV5A is a set after conducting an operational test of the fire protection system or if the system actually operates due to a fire. In this case, we're working with a single interlock electric actuation system. There are 16 steps for properly setting the DV5A valve, but don't worry, none of them are very difficult. You'll have the valve set in no time. First, close the system's main control valve. Also, close the diaphragm supply valve. Then, close the supervisory air supply valve. Next, open the main drain, the system drain, and all auxiliary drains in the system. After water stops discharging, close the auxiliary drain and the system drain valves. Leave the main drain open and make sure both the pressure gauges and the alarm control valves are open if applicable. Why should these valves stay open? This is simply to make sure the system is no longer pressurized. Now, depress the automatic drain valve plunger to verify that it's open. Then, clean the diaphragm supply strainer by removing the cleanout plug and the strainer basket. You can flush the strainer by momentarily opening the diaphragm supply valve. Next, reset the automatic actuation system. What do you mean by automatic actuation system? It's simply the detection system that's activating the deluge valve. Could you give us some examples? Sure, the smoke and heat detectors are commonly used ones. For electronic actuation, reset the electronic detection system in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions to de-energize the solenoid valve. The next step is to open the manual pull station and then open the diaphragm supply valve. After all air stops discharging from the manual pull station drain tube, slowly close the operating lever by pushing it up. Keep the hinged cover open for now. After allowing water to flow out of the manual reset actuator drain tube to the point it stops discharging, reset the actuator by pressing the reset knob and holding it until pressure builds. Pressure should reach approximately 15 PSI on the diaphragm gauge. Water should stop flowing from its drain tube. Pressure will build up in the diaphragm chamber. So pressure is building up. How do you know if it's holding? You can verify pressure is holding very easily. With the diaphragm chamber pressurized as described earlier, temporarily close the diaphragm supply valve and observe the diaphragm gauge for any drops in pressure. If you notice a drop in pressure, the diaphragm needs to be replaced and or any leaks must be corrected before moving on to the next step. If the diaphragm gauge indicates no drop in pressure, you can reopen the supply valve and move on to the next step. Open the supervisory air supply valve to reestablish supervisory system air at 10 PSI. Then, partially open the system's main control valve. Slowly close the main drain as soon as water flows from this valve. Now, check the automatic drain valve for any leaks. If there are leaks, troubleshoot and correct the cause of the leakage problem before moving on. Close the hinged cover on the manual control station and insert a new brake rod into the small hole through the top of the enclosing box. Then, fully open the system main control valve. After setting the fire protection system, notify the proper authorities and advise those responsible for monitoring proprietary and or central control alarms. And that's it, you're all set. That was lots of great information about setting up the DV5A valve. Thank you so much. You're welcome. To learn more about the Tyco model DV5A, visit our website.